So hi, I'm Emily Lutzker, and I'm the CEO of OpenInvo, which is an online marketplace for innovation. And I'm here today to tell you a little story. I was out shopping, and I found myself at the CVS, and there I was, in the innovation department. Now, who knew that there was innovation at the CVS? This word innovation seems to appear everywhere, in every piece of marketing material that comes out, in every piece of business speak, and so I was curious about it. I mean, what really is innovation? So I asked a couple of experts, and my first one, Humpty Dumpty, who said, when I use a word, it means just what I choose it to mean, neither more nor less. Now, I thought maybe we needed a kind of more mutually agreed upon understanding of the word innovation. So I looked it up in the dictionary, and it said that innovation was something new, the introduction of something new, a new idea, method, or device, and I noticed that the word technology wasn't in there at all. But the word new was there twice, so I looked it up. And new is something that's recent or unfamiliar, having been exi in existence for a short period of time. Now, I love new things. New is exciting. But they tell me that there's nothing new under the sun. So how am I supposed to think differently when I get that Pepsi feeling going my way? I mean, what's in my wallet when I try to think outside the buns? I mean, really, I've got my imagination at work, but I try to leave it there when I go home. Now, people in business, they talk about big blue things like sky and ocean, big sky, blue ocean, blue sky, blue whale, humpback whale, call me Ishmael on my white paper trail. Now, maybe I'm old school, but I remember when old things, the things that we think that are old now, were innovations of the time. And I'd like to think about innovation as the technium of a kind of continuum of what's happening in our past going into our future. So, which led me to think, what is the new black? And in talking about the new black, in terms of fashion, we don't call that innovations or inventions or even technology, but maybe we talk about the technique of some garment that's made, something that's new. Which led me to ask another expert in the art world, considering craft and art, Leo Steinberg in the 1950s, he had this problem of seeing something that he called the new art. And this new art was actually pop art, which was a real departure from a lot of art that we saw in the past. It was very different, and he had to, as a critic, think of what tools he could use to judge this new art. So all of the people around him thought that you know, what would be good would, would be significant, which promoted an established direction that, you know, they could see this art on a comparative scale to what came before. But he didn't like this idea one bit. And he thought that new innovations should be something where we could suspend our judgment and hold it at bay and look at something new for the thing that it was, to forget our past and see it for the thing that it is itself. So I thought this was a great idea, except that is forgetting a virtue? I mean, my parents would be very upset all this money they spent on my education that I had to forget everything that I knew before. So I thought that maybe it could inform us in some way. So I looked towards Kevin Kelly. I don't know why my slides are so small on the screen. But Kevin Kelly has this new book uh, called What Technology Wants, where he says that every new technology builds upon an old technology that innovation is technology as if it's a living organism. So in terms of new things that we have now, we have a lot of things that are smart, smart grids, smart phones, smart cars, but which is much different than the old way that we thought about smart. That smarts, you smart Alec, you're too smart for your own good. And, but this new smartness doesn't equal intelligence or intellect. It actually has to do with something being user friendly, a usability of something, so to speak. And that new kind of smartness can inform us when we're talking about innovation, when we're trying to innovate something. In the world of all of our new technology, in our technium, in our continuum of technology, maybe if we could just hold what we know at bay for a minute, if we could forget it, if we could think that our knowledge is invisible for a moment, that it could inform us but not direct us, that we could forget what we know and just leave a new space for innovation. Now, if you've forgotten what the name of my talk was, it was The Dog Ate My Innovation. So at the end of it all, I have good news for you. There is no dog. Thank you very much.